All right, guys, today we've got a 2002 Toyota Tundra 4.7 liter. It's got a misfire. We're gonna show you a quick, easy, inexpensive way to diagnose it. Let's get into it. Let me show you the check engine lights on right now and it is flashing. So we have not pulled codes on it and we're gonna show you how you can do this using this tool without really pulling codes. Right, so I'm not saying that it wouldn't be a good idea to pull codes, just kind of give you an idea of where to go to. I will tell you this it's not often, but it does happen that sometimes the engine module will flag the wrong uh, cylinder for misfiring. So we have seen it where it'll tell you it's, I'm just randomly saying it's cylinder number one, and and, and you get into the vehicle and you'll you know be looking at cylinder number one and it ends up being cylinder number three or whatever. So we have seen that. It's not common, but you wanna be careful with that. So what we've got here is we were out at um, Apex and I ran into a friend of mine. I was talking to him about something totally different. And he told me about this little tool that would give me an ignition waveform. And this all this tool does is ignition waveform, right? I mean, it'll give you, I haven't used it before, but went through the um i went through the instructions a little bit and it will give you like it just give you some different you can do different engines uh, engine types you can do current ramps and things you can do tack voltage you know there's different things but all i really want is a waveform i want an ignition waveform and you guys have all asked it's like listen how can i get an ignition waveform without buying a really expensive scope and you know, when, when he told me about this, I'm like, wow, that's, that's fantastic. Let's do that. So prior to this tool coming in, um, I think over the weekend we got it in, I ordered it when I was at SEMA. So after talking to my buddy, G Trulia, um, uh, at SEMA, and I was talking to him about ignition waveforms because I really wanted to get some videos from Mac Vanderbrink. And I've had a few comments um, in previous videos when I've mentioned Mac that some people have, have given me some links and stuff to watch some things from them. And I was talking to G about, um, find a, a longer form video from Mac. He was telling me about it. And then he told me about this tool and you guys are always, you know, looking for an inexpensive way. You guys keep, you know, responding or commenting that is there an inexpensive way to get ignition waveforms, you know, without buying a scope. And when G told me about it, I'm like, dude, we got to try that. So we, we got this thing, we got it in here. We brought it out for this vehicle. So this one is just misfiring and we already know what's wrong with it, but let me show you how quick and easy it was to use this tool. So we're gonna go ahead and just, we're just gonna get some waveforms. And I did, I do, will tell you that when you're doing it, if you, if it gets that flat, like straight line, like it had, let me see if I can't get like that. And you, if you're on the coil and it's doing that, you just wanna hit that clear button real quick and it will reset itself and pick up a signal. So if I just hit that, there we got a good signal. So this looks like a normal, good, you know, waveform. You know, I think that if we had a fuel delivery issue and we might be able to create a fuel delivery issue, I'll try that in a minute. You know, we would get that tail going up right here. You guys have seen that in previous videos. But that's a pretty nice looking waveform right there as far as ignition waveform goes. Now let's go to the coil that we know is an issue or the cylinder that we know is an issue. So that right there is not good, right? So let's go to another one. There's a, and there's a good one, right? So, I mean, this is just a quick, even if you don't know anything about a ignition pattern or ignition waveform, you could really quickly jump through these coils, through these things and go, oh, what cylinder is it, right? You could jump through here and go, well, that one looks normal. That one looks the same, if not normal, looks, if you don't know that, that one looks the same and that one looks considerably different. That's gonna be where my issue is. And then down, you know, as you go, you'll start to determine, you know, what's causing this. So you've determined what cylinder the problem is in. Now, let's say that this is your only tool. You don't have a scope. We're using this tool to diagnose this car with, but we need to determine, is it a ignition problem? As, I mean, as far as, a, a, is it a coil? Is it a spark plug? Or is it possibly a fuel injector issue? Now, what I'm gonna show you is, I'm gonna tell you right now, it's not a fuel injector issue, right? And I can, I'm gonna show you later in this video definitely hang around because I'm going to show you what a fuel injector not flowing fuel into the cylinder will look like on that ignition waveform because it's going to make a difference on the ignition waveform. 
for now we know that this thing is a ignition problem it is a spark plug or a coil how are we going to determine which one it is don't overthink this right this is not rocket science we know this is an ignition problem we know it's a spark plug or, or a coil at this point we know that the coil has got power to it we know the coil has got ground to it we know the coil has got a signal to it to fire it because it is actually creating a waveform it's just not creating a nice waveform it's not creating a waveform that shows that it's going through the the coil down the boot into the spark plug and into the cylinder and firing the spark plug right we can tell that by looking at that waveform but we also can tell by looking at that what waveform we do have that that coil is being fired. So we have everything to the coil that we need. So I know that I'm gonna get some flack in these comments right now for what I'm about to do, but you know what, we do it. I don't have any problem with people doing it as long as they understand why you're doing it and you have a plan to go in the correct direction. So what all I'm gonna do is we're gonna take this spark plug and this coil. So we already know it's an ignition problem. So the reality is I only need to do one thing here. If you're questioning, like, I don't know if it's a spark plug or a coil, you know, maybe you don't know how to tell the difference on those as far as, you know, you want to be a hundred percent sure. Maybe you don't know, maybe it's a fuel injector or something. And you just want to be a hundred percent sure you could take this one step further. So I'm just going to take the coil and this is easy. Now, you know, if you're under an intake manifold, obviously this is, this is much more difficult and if you are, this is why you need to have a tool like this and be able to, to look at the waveform and actually tell what's, what is the problem as opposed to having to do what we're doing right now. You know, but if you're just starting off with ignition waveform analysis, then this is a good way for you to go, okay, well, did it change? Did it move? What part of it moved? It's, did the pattern change a little bit, but not a lot? You know, moving this stuff around is perfectly fine as long as you are going down a path to the answer. And you already know that the cylinder, which cylinder it is, and you already know that it's an ignition problem. You feel like it is. So we're just going to take and move the coil. And we're going to see what the pattern looks like. Let's go ahead and take a look at them. Let's go ahead and go to where the coil went to. I'll put this down here in the shade. All right, so this is, you see the X on the coil. So this is our coil that was originally here that we had the bad pattern. But look at our pattern now. There's nothing wrong with that pattern. Right, so now we don't have that crazy line that just kind of tapers off. Let's go to this one. And there it is still doing it, right? So this one did not change. So this cylinder, we did not change when we moved the coil, right? Okay, so what have we eliminated, right? We've eliminated the coil. The coil is not the problem. We 100% know that there's no control issue going to the coil. All of that is, is eliminated. What do we have left? A spark plug. Let's take a look at it to see if we see anything obvious. So I don't see, what we're looking for is any kind of tracing on the porcelain, maybe where it's coming, you know, uh, you'd have carbon tracks like this way. I do see a little something right there, maybe. But here's the thing, even if we don't see anything, right? Nothing is sticking out at me right now and going, oh, 100%, that's the problem, right? But do we know it's the problem? Yeah, we know it's the problem. We already have narrowed it down to an ignition thing. I'm gonna show you how to eliminate the, the, the fuel side of it. We're gonna do that in a minute. So we've already eliminated the coil, right? We've eliminated fuel just from looking at the pattern. And all that's left is the, is the spark plug. Guys, I see so many times, and I know that, you know, people throw spark plugs at stuff and they throw coils at things. You know, you don't have to throw parts at a car to fix it. Even with a, with a very simple, inexpensive tool, right? You could get good at looking at waveforms and determining where the problem is. We know this is the spark plug is the issue. Let's get a spark plug. Let's put it in this thing. Let's look at the waveform. And then let's go ahead and look at what a fuel problem would look like. We've got our new spark plug. I'm gonna go ahead and get her in there. And get her snug down. Obviously, we're going to put a spark plug in. Yeah, we're going to replace all the spark plugs in this vehicle. But we want to show what the, what the pattern. We're just basically right now, this is all about showing you guys how to determine a misfire. You know, we didn't even use a scan tool on this car. I mean, we didn't go in to, you know, look, pull up a code. We didn't go in and look at misfire counters. None of that, right? We are, we are using what is really, for what it does, a, a pretty inexpensive tool. And we're going to uh, give you the price of it at the end and give you the link to 
to buy it but it's just a really quick easy way to be able to determine what's causing the misfire all right let's fire it off all right sure it said stop teasing you it's 235 dollars i think and some change and it's on amazon that's where i found it just jumped on amazon and and uh punched it in and so we'll we'll put a link down below though all right here we go let's go ahead and come back in let's take a look at our waveform now now we got a nice waveform so we still got the coil that we moved over here right and i can move that x coil back over here wouldn't matter but we got a nice pattern over there too all right so now i want to show you what it would look like if we just lost fuel now it's going to go completely lean right so i'm just going to disconnect the fuel injector so if you want to watch this waveform now what we're going to see is the tail Let me give it a little bit of gas. Well, that didn't work like I wanted it to. So my experiment to show you a lean cylinder has failed completely, and, and I know why. So what will normally happen, and if you've watched other videos of ours where we've shown you the ignition waveforms, where we have had lean cylinders, what will happen is this. As, this. as this burn line comes across, you will start to see that it will start to tail up, right? It'll start to tail up, and then it'll come back down. So the end of this will come up and then come back down. And what that's doing is, as the hydrocarbons burn in the cylinder, it's running out of the hydrocarbons, and it's taking more energy to actually burn what's, you know, that there's nothing in there. So it's taking more energy, right? And the energy, so, the, so you're seeing the kilovolts go up. Now, what happens is when I disconnect the fuel injector, we have zero hydrocarbons going in the cylinder, nothing. There's nothing to burn there. So the spark line just stays, stays where it is and it's not gonna, not gonna, it's not affected by hydrocarbons because there's nothing in there to burn. It's just showing you it's firing across the spark plug. So basically what I'm saying is if we have a fuel injector that's running lean, maybe it's a little bit blocked up, something like that, uh, or not opening properly, naturally, right? Not with me trying to disconnect it, then we would be able to show this. We will get a car that's doing that and we will pull this tool out when we do, and we will show you that on this tool. This tool will be able to show you that. So if you have an issue where you see a pattern, you looks like a good waveform, but that the end of that burn line just starts to tail up. Okay, you've got ignition. It's probably not spark plug or coil at that point. It's probably a fuel problem, fuel injector blocked up, something like that. So there you go. There's a inexpensive, you know, relatively inexpensive tool to get you into waveform analysis, ignition waveform analysis, that you can play around with vehicles. You got a vehicle that comes in that's misfiring, play around with it, you know, start, start getting up your pattern. If you can move your coil, move your coil to one cylinder, move your spark plug to another cylinder. If it's easy to do that, you know, don't feel bad that you're doing that. Do it, then look at the pattern. What changed? What does it look like when you move the spark plug? What does it look like when you move the coil to a different one, right? You'll start to get really good at determining what's causing the misfire. And then once you get good at it, if you've got one that's under an intake manifold that you can't move, you'll be able to put this thing in there, look at it and go, oh, that's a spark plugger. Oh, that's a coil, right? I can see that's firing outside the cylinder. That's gonna be a coil boot. You'll be able to tell that just from looking at that waveform. And you'll be able to tell when your cylinder's running lean, right? So you won't have to pull an intake plenum off to be messing around and swapping fuel injectors. I'm not a swapping fuel injectors guy. That's a lot of work. Coils and spark plugs generally aren't. I get it, there's some that are, but uh, I don't really recommend swapping fuel injectors around to see, but this will help you once you start to get used to what they look like, you'll be able to determine that, determine that a fuel injector is an issue. So hope you like this content, guys. I hope this is something you're you know you're, you're looking forward to purchasing. Let us know down below if you get it and what you how you used it and did it help you at all. Really appreciate you guys watching. Hit that thumbs up, hit that bell notification, hit that subscribe button. We'll see you in the next one.